550 flooding reports across at least 35 states uh, in just the last week alone, including Texas. We had, dead, of course, the deadly floods there, New Mexico, North Carolina, all in the last week. What are you seeing going into this the week after this historic flood in Texas? What are you seeing and why are you seeing it? Look, um, July, it can be a very stormy month across the United States. We have very high humidity levels, uh, which we're all you know pretty pretty familiar with in the in the central and eastern US. And that comes uh, from the Gulf of Mexico. So we get these kind of plumes of air, moisture, invisible plumes above our heads in the sky um, that fuel these storms that we've been seeing, water vapor in the sky. What we're seeing this year is a particularly stormy pattern over the central and eastern states that's harnessing all of that water vapor. And as we go through the coming days, this weekend, and into next week, many of the same states, including Texas, including eastern parts of New Mexico, expecting more potentially flooding downpours. Now, I don't see anything, I think, this weekend, the coming days, that's going to be as intense as what we saw uh, on, on the 4th of July in the Hill Country. Um, however, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see similar events of, of that kind of magnitude, or at least, you know, events that could bring, you know, the potential for life-threatening flash flooding in, in the weeks and months ahead.